And it's a very, very like, chaotic situation for the Mararaba crossing point inside the federal capital and territory. Sake of police personnel, then barricade the major road where they lead into FCT. The security operatives uh, have been they get a very, very tough time to try to enforce the lockdown order for President Mamadou Buhari uh, as they try to prevent motorists uh, to cross enter inside Abuja. As we arrived, many residents were seen going about their normal businesses. We saw several vehicles, commercial bikes, and tricycles even riding against the traffic. As we reached the Maraba crossing point, there was a severe traffic gridlock as security personnel tried to control the flow of traffic. Drivers were seen desperately trying to cross the barricade. However, on the other side of the road, it was a different situation as the road was totally barricaded. It's a frenzy here. This portion of the road takes you into the federal capital territory. In fact, this is the crossing point between Abuja and Nassau State. While this portion of the road is meant to take you into Nassau State, but you can see the security personnel are finding it so, so difficult to contain the crowd because the drivers who are trying to follow a one-way, who see that they have blocked this route, are trying to follow a one-way, but the security personnel are turning them back. It's assumed that this area should be uh, the federal capital territory. Security personnel here are trying to enforce the lockdown order of President Mohamed Dubari. Police personnel were definitely having a tough time trying to control the crowd. Some of those in the traffic complained of already becoming frustrated after several hours of being in the gridlock. Our main reason for coming out today was we came to fill gas and we do come to get some foodstuffs though. And a journey of 30 minutes has turned into almost four hours, six hours for us now. We left, we've been in this traffic for about four hours now. Just a standby, it's at a standstill, no movement. And our house is not just far from here. But still we are here. And I don't really understand what they are doing over there. Everything in this place, they are just using rank. Others are following one way, all because they are uh, popular people. They are allowing them to pass. So I don't really understand what is going on. We have been here for long now. Are you trying to say they are biased? In, um, yeah. Yes, they are very biased. Very, very biased. How can, okay, because uh, some people now, they are passing one way. Why? Why are they passing one way? Just because, okay, fine, they are in, inside jeep or they are in uniform. It's not supposed to be like that now. They are, if you check up there now, there are no cars coming. Why? Because these people are in one way and you are not stopping them from far. I did this thing, if you want to control it now, you have to stop people coming from one way. You have to stop them from up. So there won't be any blockage here. But no, you are, they are using rank here. All because you are on uniform. It's not supposed to be like that. I carry food, come here, semofita, from Flower Mill, Nigeria, PSD. And I leave the load, I drop the load to finish. I want to go Lagos back, then block the road, no way can go out again. But have you talked to them and you hear I, their I don't go talk to them. And I show her to my way be. And I told her the, the place I carry the load to come. They don't answer me to go out back again. We've been on this spot for over an hour now, the crossing point between Nassau and the FCT. Less than five meters behind me is a police barricade. The police are insisting they are there to enforce the lockdown order of President Mohamed Ubari and that the barrier will remain closed. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.